Hey everybody, welcome back. Here we have the Portland pressure washer from Harbor Freight. I initially went in to get the other one, the blue one, but they said they're discontinuing it and not going to carry it anymore. So I opted for this. There was a 25% off coupon, so it was pretty cheap. Over the blue one, I can't remember the name of it, I'll add it in the deal, but it's 100 more PSI and it has a, this one has a 20 foot cable, whereas the other one I think is 12 or 13 feet or something like that. So we've got those going for it. It does have the soap dispenser as well as the other one does. A um, couple things on the top. Adjustable spray nozzle, variable spray pattern, onboard storage for the cord, the 20 foot cable. Here's some more pictures for you. Stickers over the soap dispenser. Here's some more of the specs if you're interested. The power cord is 35 feet long. 1.3 gallons per minute. We'll open it up and see how she comes in the box. Just got this today. And it looks like a little tip cleaner of some sort. And the manual, we'll get to that later. You can see how everything's packaged in there. Here's your little soap dispenser. I don't know how that works. I'm assuming it screws off. Oh, there you go. It's a half twist. Locks in. That's awesome. Here's the plastic part. Let's start throwing pieces out. Here's the 20 foot cable. You can see the ends that are on that. nozzle spray gun deal looks like. It has a lock, that's pretty cool. Can't lock it on that I can tell. Just how you lock in the line. Here's the end that goes on. Let's see how that looks like in there. Looks like it's adjustable. I see when you turn this outside, you can see how it closes it down. It's cool. Here's the top handle. Pressure washer, and down in here is a few screws. this mainly to use around the house. Um, pressure wash off the sidewalks, do our cars, stuff like that. I got four wheelers. Hose those off. I'm going to be building an engine soon. I'll hose the grease off of that. On off. This has a protector on it. A little cap. It's actually wet or something. Something in there. And on the back, here's your hose inlet. It's got cool wheels on it. So yeah. We'll get it put together and we'll be right back.
Okay, well there's the basics for that. Here is some of the manual. Screws, the hose hook, how to hook stuff in. That kind of stuff. Warnings. Tips on cleaning wood and other things. Care and maintenance, storage, troubleshooting. Okay. That's pretty easy. Alright, so this. Doing wrong here. No, it goes in this way and turns. Okay, now we got her. And same deal. Another half twist pull out. Same gig here. Gotta push it in and turn. Okay, we got that. Then your hose end here will simply go on to this side. Push in. Boom, that's done. This one we'll just push into there and locks in like that. Now we just need some water and power. We'll be back. Okay, I have the water on. I'm gonna plug this in. But you're gonna want to shoot. Pull, pull the trigger. Make sure you got solid water coming out of here first. You don't want any air bubbles in there to cavitate the pump and make that go bad. Looks good, turn it on. Got some power, interesting. figure it out. I'll be back. All right, so this nozzle is either one or the other. It locks in there for that that wide spray or that way for the hard beam. So, we'll lock it into the wide spray, show you how that works. Cover here on my travel trailer is pretty dirty, so Oops. So, you can see it gets the green off. You got to hold it pretty close, but Works great. This is no soap or anything, right? Cool. And see one side done, one side not. Now we'll turn it the other way. Now we're going to turn it for the big stream and show you how that works.
All right, good for small spots, but not so much for doing big areas. So I'm going to turn it back to the flat one. All right, well, I got the rest of the front of the tongue of the trailer cleaned off. Worked great for that. So far, pretty happy. So I had this board laying down for a while. Hope you guys can see it. But right, this section right here um, is the natural, what it is. The section from this line here this way is what I used on the low pressure fan. And then over here you can see the squirrelies and other stuff from, where's the mark for you guys here? Right around here, this way I just used the high pressure beam, whatever you want to call the pencil spray. You can see if you hold it close you can really dig in. So I haven't found a whole lot of uses for that pencil spray other than probably if you're farther back you can get a little more range on it. But anyways, yeah, there it is, super happy with it so far. Time will tell. Like, comment, subscribe. All right, everybody, in closing, pretty happy with it. Works pretty well. Um, probably so my complaint is going to be how this doesn't lock, say, halfway or something. I might figure out a way to maybe make it lock halfway because there needs to be something in between the pencil beam and the wide low pressure beam. And then the little soap dispenser just sticks right in there and twists and stays so looks great all right smash the like button